Oh, I tell you what, I tell you what, guys, it is absolutely freezing. What What is going on here? That's better. Sorry about that little indiscretion to kick off the episode, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. Trip to the thrift Thursday morning. It's my favorite day of the week. Very much looking forward to diving into the op shops today, and hopefully we can pull away some really cool items. Some thrifted heat to warm ourselves up would be very, very nice. Hey, uh, if you're here for the first time, guys, we sell on eBay. That's pretty much what we do. Facebook Marketplace every now and again. But um, if you want to learn a thing or two about how to do it, if you're just starting out, if you just want to make a couple of extra dollars, I reckon you should hit the subscribe button to this channel right now. 38% of you watch this and have yet to do that. So I thought I'd mention that as well. Hit the subscribe, join the movement. We are 3% of the way there towards 100,000 subscribers. And uh, I want to get there ASAP. So go ahead, do your bit, hit the subscribe. Oh, that big truck almost hit us. Let's dive into it, guys. We'll see you in the first two. What an absolute cutie we've got our hands on here, guys. A great way to start the day. And have a look at this stack of shoes as well that we've got to play with. The guys behind the counter told me that these only hit the shelf yesterday. So our timing is absolutely spot on to kick off the day. I'm gonna pick these ones off the shelf to start us off, guys. The Nike Tiempos. Now, these are an awesome pair of footy boots. Definitely high end, as you can see there. They're a pair of $270 boots. I'm paying $15 for them, but I do think I'll be able to get about 60 bucks. Not too bad. These ones as well, not quite at the level of a $60 boot in pre-owned condition, but the Adidas 17.3s. These are a really cool pair of shoes. I think I'm gonna push upwards of 49. They're in good nick, so I think I should be able to get the full $50 free postage type scenario on these ones as well. Uh, a third pair of shoes, probably the best pair of shoes in this op shop. These are the Nike Haraches, and I've probably got the pronunciation wrong on those, but I was actually really surprised at how good these comps were. There were a lot more than the three that you're seeing there. 80 odd dollars is the pre-owned value for these shoes, if you can believe, guys. Just an incredible get for the third pair. And then I'm gonna finish it off in this op shop with a fourth pair of shoes. What an incredible run. The Asics Gel Cumulus 10s. These are a pair of women's shoes. I did have a really good look over these, and in the end, I do think, even with a bit of wear on the sole, as you can see there, I should be able to sell these for about $50. So I'll push pretty hard. $10 in, I think it should be okay. The Barefoot Investor as well, guys. This is a pretty good book. $3. I found three of these, and I almost almost went ahead and bought them for $9. They sell for $17 on eBay in pre-owned condition. So three and a 17, I ended up passing. And then I had a look at this hat as well. I love my Baltimore uh, Ravens. This is the Baltimore Oreos in the MLB. A liner and the Orioles are the world champions. So I do spend a bit of time looking into the hats and sometimes you can find some really good ones. Unfortunately, at $15, I did have to pass on this. First stop of the day, we are underway. Not too bad, guys. $50 spent and uh, we'll move on Top Shop run number two. Just a massive start to op shop run number two. The Windy City assassin himself, Derek Rose. Rose, Rose crosses over the fadeaway. Got it, Mr. Beck, and kiss myself. Oh my MVP gosh, time. Over. Windy City assassin does it again. Medium tag, $15, and it's genuine, guys. I'm really stoked about that one. We've got the Golden State Warriors, Kevin Durant, for $55. I just couldn't do it. I go in every single week to this op shop and I really do hope that they drop the price and they just never drop it. So unfortunately for another week, I'm going to have to say no, but I'm really stoked with that Derek Rose jersey. Had a good look at the shoes and unfortunately there were no shoes to pick from. As you can see there, it was pretty bare. So I did move on. But um, fortunately, guys, this is a real op shop for clothing. I've found some really great clothing items in here. I've been able to find this Callaway size large men's golf polo shirt. Now, guys, these go on for about $35 on a eBay and Callaway is such a great golfing brand that uh, I really do think this will go on to sell pretty quick. Got the Odyssey tag on the side as well. It's a genuine polo shirt, no doubt about it. So pretty stoked to pick that one up. The Brizzy Lions in the AFL guys are playing some very, very good football. So I'm always happy to pick this one up. Uh, 
dollars, size medium. I do see quite a bit of Brisbane Lions merchandise, but I'm always going to grab it because it generally sells pretty fast, like all footy merchandise. Uh, I found the Callaway again, uh, number two here uh, of the Golf Polo shirt. Now, this one was a size large, $4 in for about a $35 sale on eBay. When you take your fees, you're probably making about $15 to $20 worth of a profit on these ones. So definitely high end for a clothing item. And then specialized in the cycling wear. This is a great brand. This is a $75 brand new with tag men's cycling shorts, a 3XL for $4. This will go upwards of $50 to $60 on eBay because it is brand new with tags. So I'm really, really happy to find this one. It's got the little bum pouch as well, so you know it's top quality. Very, very happy with this get. Had a good look around at all of the other clothing, and there were a couple, uh, couple of notable mentions that I, I thought I'd ch uh, chuck into the video today for you as well. And the first one that is obviously the polo shirt from Ralph Lauren. You do see these quite commonly. It's a size large, $8. I didn't end up buying this, but I do think that you can sell them for about $29.99 pretty comfortably on, uh, on eBay. So it's just a case of whether or not you want to go through the trouble for the return. Uh, I found a Vans size large. Uh, this is a really nice button-up shirt as well. And don't be deceived by the crinkles because that would actually clean up pretty well with an iron and a bit of a scrub. And I do like the color tone on that shirt. So... For eight dollars, again, probably a thirty-dollar sale item. Do you want a trouble? No, probably not. Uh, also, to this one, Stussy, Stussy, whatever you want to call it, size large for a button-up shirt. Again, another eight dollars. Uh, if this was an XL, I would have bought it just for myself because I really like the pattern on it. But unfortunately, I couldn't be really making too much on that at an eight-dollar investment. So I did end up saying no to that one as well. But a pretty cool shirt. Now, guys, I really want to sit back and have a bit of a chat about this with you. It's going to go on for a little bit of a, a mention here because. I really am denied for quite a while in the op shop, about 20 minutes in the thrift around this exact item. This is a Levi Strauss uh, jacket. It's $50. It is genuine leather. I will say that. All the tags, all the markings, it's a size extra large. It, it's basically, this is a genuine Levi Strauss jacket. So did you want to buy for $50 and what would you be able to resell it for? They were the questions that were going through my head and I really just couldn't come to a firm answer on it. I am denied. It looks, a, it looks a million bucks. There were no tears, no marks, no rips on it whatsoever. I thought at one point I was going to commit to it. In the end, I thought, well, what if I was to keep it as a personal? So I thought to myself, let's go and try this one on. And if it fits well, which unfortunately it doesn't, as you can see there, I would have bought it for myself as a personal and then tried to sell it for a high profit and just wear it before it sells. But in the end, it didn't fit me. And I ended up saying no to it, which was really quite sad. But I did grab a few items and I was pretty happy about the overall success of this op shop. But the best part about it was I did have a loyalty card, guys. And the items that you're seeing here on the counter, they came to $0 worth of a spend, which was an incredible result. Check it out, guys. Five items for free. One of the most underrated and not talked about enough uh, benefits of the op shop runs, guys, is the loyalty card. Five items, I've paid absolutely nothing. I've got all of them for free. A really cool get there. Definitely tick off your loyalty cards for any of the op shops that you go into because it really does add up. To be able to get these five items that I showed you before and to have not paid a thing for it, we're in the profit already, guys. Uh, that Levi Strauss jacket, my goodness, I deliberated on that for 20 minutes. Please let me know in the comments below, what would you have done for a genuine Levi Strauss jacket, size extra large? I'm still sitting on it. I'm still thinking about going back in and grabbing it, considering I paid nothing there. Nah, nah, all right, I'm gonna cruise on. Op shot number three, I'm not doing it. Let me know if I should have done it in the comments. <laughs> oh, maybe I should go back and get it. Oh. There were just no comps. There were no comps on eBay telling me whether or not it was a good thing to buy. Brand new, I think they're worth like two, three, four hundred dollars. It's a brand new, it's a, it's a leather jacket, but pre-owned in good condition. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I'm driving away, aren't I? So we're not going to get it, and we'll never know. You will never know if that was a, a good buy or not. I probably could have sold it for 150. Shit.
Well, guys, I guess you just can't win them all, but I'll tell you what, I've definitely won in this shoe haul right here. Have a look at these. The New Balance 247 Women's Running Shoes slash Casual Shoes. These are a really good pair, and as you can see, the soles are in very good, good condition. So for $10, I've ended up going ahead and buying these ones, guys. I think I'll be able to push 50 on these. Now, if you watch this channel, you would know that the Rolls-Royce running shoes, in my opinion, is the Asics Gel Kayano. That's exactly what I've got my hands on here for just $8. How good is this? The only negative, the soles. The soles were so worn that I actually had to let these ones go. An incredibly tough thing to do. Now, I do think the Mizuno running shoes are actually a really, really underrated pair of running shoes. You don't see a whole lot of them, but for $8, these with the soles, as as good as they are, basically light new condition. Have a look at that. I think I'm gonna push about 60 for these. So I've ended up grabbing these two, the New Balance and the Mizuno running shoes. Not too bad there. I went over to the men's shoes. Have a look at the Flywire Nikes. These are an awesome pair of men's, uh, I think they're CrossFit shoes, to be honest. $13, they just sell really well for me. The soles, as you can see there, not a lot of wear on them either. So that was a very crispy pair. I was very happy to get my hands on those. Uh, and then I've also found these as well. Another brand that I don't find a whole heap of, but I'm very happy when I do. Brooks, these were the Glycerin 13, all black men's running shoes. I paid $10 there, guys. And the soles, a little bit of wear, no doubt about it. But I really do think I'll still be able to push upwards of 40 to 45 for those. Hey, not my size, unfortunately. Thomas the Tank Engine, but a very, very cool pair of shoes for $6. I buy them in any size, but I will have to pass on those. Have a look at these bad boys. A real Marty McFly back to the future vibe with these ones. I was never going to buy them. They were only $8, but I thought they looked pretty cool in a weird way. Um, something we don't talk a hell of a lot about on this channel because I don't come across it a whole lot. Uh, I found an absolute stack of snow boots and uh, ski shoes. So, guys, there's some really good money. As you can see, the op shops put a pretty high price on these at 80 bucks each, but that's the value. So if you can find these at a really low price, I definitely think they're well worth picking up. Unfortunately, none for me on this occasion. The Brisbane Broncos, that's a, uh, a brand new with tag supporter hat. It's a 30-year commemorative hat, so I think I'll be able to push upwards of 30 bucks for that. But to be honest, shoes were the real winner of the day here in this op shop run number three yet again. I did find these shoes as well hiding behind the counter. I said, could I get my hands on these and just have a quick look? They were $40. They were the New York City edition. So the Brooks Ghost 12 New York City Marathon limited edition shoes. They go for $350 brand new. All right, guys, 47 bucks spent. Uh, took the hat, pair of shoes as well. So we've had a good run there, four pairs of shoes. Um, let's get off to the last run. Op shop number four. Had a good day so far. Let's finish this. Strong. absolutely come through with the goods. Three pairs of Brooks Ravina shoes. Now, they were all $8 each, and to be honest, they're such good shoes, that I really do think I'm gonna be able to push them for about 50 to 60. 
Maybe sixty dollars is what I'm thinking, and I've got three pairs. So there's potentially one hundred and eighty dollars worth of shoes, and I paid twenty six bucks. So that was ridiculous. And then I had a really good look through all the uh, PC games. There was about five Star Wars. I could have probably bundled them up, but at five dollars a piece, um, you're talking probably about twenty dollars for four games, and they were all worth between sort of fifteen to twenty each. So in the end, take fees and post. I'm probably going to make a whole lot out of it, so I left it alone. I did pick up these two though, a couple of anime DVDs. There's not some heavy comps on there, but I always find with the anime that they do go for some pretty good money. This one here, if you do a, uh, a quick um, eBay search for this uh, for this name, which I'm absolutely not going to try and pronounce, uh, it goes for some pretty good money, I think. So happy to get that in the DVD. And then uh, the Wallflower series collection, a bit of anime as well, paid $5 for that. A uh, bit of a stab in the dark, but I'm going to see how I go. I like to test the waters with the anime. Um, so there you go, guys. I spent uh, $31 in that last op shop. So I'll lay it all out in the boot, as I always do, to end the episode, and, and we're done for yet another one. So a lot of shoes, man. I, I honestly think I've bought about 15, maybe 20 pairs of shoes in this run today. It's been a ridiculous shoe run, uh, but they are my most favorite item to sell, so I'm not too disappointed about that. Um, hope you've enjoyed the episode, guys. Uh, let me know what you've thrifted this week that you think will go on to sell for some pretty good money. Drop it in the comments. I always love to hear it. Let's get the conversation started. Uh, but I'm going to shoot back home. I'm going to put all these shoes in the wash and um, hopefully get a few of them listed up this afternoon. But I'll punch out the edit of this video and I'll get that across to you as well tonight. So plenty to get stuck into, guys. I do appreciate you tuning into the channel. And uh, if you're still here watching now, guys, you know that I can't thank you enough for it. Um, we'll see you in the next one, Sunday. What sold? Hopefully, all of this. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Welcome.